All right, so today on Genus Brewing, we are going to be teaching you how to make seltzer, as well as doing a couple of different experiments on how to make seltzer. So we're gonna do four different batches with four different nutrients and uh, some of our favorite yeast, plus a yeast we've been wanting to try out. For that, we're gonna be using French Saison yeast. That gives you some extra character to it, also building up a little bit more body. So first up is gonna be DAP, or diammonium phosphate. That's gonna give us some really good nitrogen in there and make the yeast happy. Then we're gonna do some Nutrivita N. That's our yeast energizer. It keeps it nice and stable throughout the whole fermentation. And lastly is going to be White Labs Fan Max. You could also use Fermade O or any other nutrient source that does not have DAP in it. And we are adding DAP, but the nutrient is important not to have DAP in it. So we keep the yeast in a certain type of fermentation for cleaner, better seltzer. Second is going to be the actual nutrient from White Labs specified for seltzer. This guy was designed by White Labs to have everything in it, pitch it once, and away you go. We're gonna pair that with some French Saison, see how it works with our other stuff. Third is going to be our French Saison paired up with Omega's proper seltzer pitch. This is also supposed to be a, a specific yeast nutrient compound. You just pitch once into it and away you go. We're gonna stack that up to next to ours. Lastly up is gonna be the only different yeast that we have in the group. That yeast is gonna be Lutra. We're gonna pair that up with proper seltzer nutrient pitch both from Omega this is their go-to way to make some seltzer we're gonna test it out against ours and see which one is better so we got four seltzer four different ways we still got to put our sugar into there we can only boil so much in this so I will be putting some distilled water into it you need to put distilled water into your seltzer if you have hard water if you have soft water meh, not that big of a deal so here we go we like to use dextrose uh, about a pound of dextrose per gallon of water gets you right around uh, 5% on the uh, seltzer range as long as it ferments all the way out. One of the reasons that I'm putting all of the sugar into here is so that every seltzer comes out with the exact same percentage. While this is filling up, I'm gonna take our nutrients, put it into boiling water, make sure they're all nice and sanitary. Since this is still a little bit too warm for the yeast, we are gonna let it cool down a little bit, but we are keeping it warm because these yeasts do like to perform hot. Adding in the White Labs nutrient. Now we're gonna add some oxygen because it's super important. All right, now it's time to pitch our yeast. Most of them are gonna be this French Saison. We love it, it's great. Then a little bit of Lutra, cause it's also awesome. We fermented four different hard seltzers using different yeast and nutrient schedules. For most of these, we used French Saison. It just changed up the nutrients. For one of them, we used Omega's Lutra and their own proper seltzer nutrient just to see how it would react. We're gonna be comparing that proper pitch from Omega, their seltzer nutrient, with White Lab seltzer nutrient and our own nutrient blend and taste all four of these side by side to figure out which hard seltzer we like best. So let's jump in and find out which one is, is really, uh, Run, you finish that statement. So let's jump in and find out which one is our favorite. So the first thing I'll say about all of these is that the Lutra with proper pitch was the first to clarify and it clarified by far the easiest. You can already see the difference between just this one moving over here and shaking up the kegs a little bit versus these ones. But as you saw in our uh, seltzer video with the peach bellini seltzer, um, these do clarify even with French Saison and our mix of nutrients. So let's go on to the flavors and let's start with the 
uh, Lutra and proper pitch. And I'll take mine first. Nothing. That is absolutely nothing on the taste. I mean, that is perfectly it's neutral. Water. Um, that perfect neutrality, I think, is something that you want in a lot of seltzers, and you're probably looking for. I do get a little bit of that kind of white wine champagne champagneiness on there, which I personally steer clear from with a lot of my seltzers. But if you want a perfectly neutral base, I think this one is uh, yeah. very, very neutral. Let's go our French Saison with the White Labs nutrients. So French Saison has been our favorite yeast for seltzers so far. The White Labs nutrient is probably similar to what we used, but we did notice some differences. Yeah. So first of all, just on the smell, I get a little bit of peachiness on this one. And then when I put this on my tongue, I also get a little bit of kind of a rocky minerality. It's got a little bit of uh, almost earthiness to it, um, probably from the nutrient. Uh, definitely on that, there, uh, with the peachiness on the nose, there's a little bit of a subtle note of breadiness or dough. Yeah. Um, that doesn't normally come with our blend of nutrients. I could say that might be user error. Maybe we used a little bit too much nutrients, but normally I'm going to associate that with a little bit of protein quality, which I'm guessing comes from the nutrient blend that they use. The flavor is really nice though. You still get those nice classic French Saison flavors coming out of it. It's got a little bit of a bigger body because of the uh, bodybuilding properties of French Saison. Uh, it's pretty darn good. So if you want something a little bit beerier, I would go this one over the Lutra, but again, more classic seltzer and probably the overall general best pick so far is probably going to be the Lutra and proper bitch. So let's go next to the French Saison that we like to use with our blend of nutrients that we use every single time we make a uh, seltzer. So that one brightens into a little bit of like citrusness already. Um, and I get like almost a tangerine note, but overall it's still, it's still neutral, but it tastes like, it tastes like proper fermentation. It tastes like fermentation happened. It tastes like great fermentation in there. You get some good body coming out of that French Saison yeast. There's a little less earthy spiciness in this one than there was in the last one. A lot more bright citrusy acidness that's coming out of it, which probably is just little bits of differences between the nutrients that we're using in those. Yeah. Uh, overall, this one reminds me of our seltzers, and so I think I like this one the best so far. I think it's a good base layer for a lot of flavors with still reminding you that it came from natural fermentation and it's not just carbonated water. All right, let's go on to uh, the French Saison using the proper pitch nutrient. That's the uh, nutrient from Omega. So don't, uh, Peter got a little bit of a yeast cake in his. This is how it came out. Stupidly clear, just like the other Omega nutrients. So there's something in there that's helping everything drop nice, bright, and clear. Straight up on the nose though, there's that champagne-iness, that high white grape uh, on the top of the uh, sinus. Yeah, that's the biggest thing I get with this one is it's got that consistent kind of champagne taste quality. Um, tastes like a white wine, tastes like something you fermented um, hot and fast, honestly, which again, French Saison and Lutra both do ferment hot and fast, but um, it tastes like more in that white claw realm and less in that uh, um, beer realm. Final thoughts, I think Lutra is probably the most plug, plug and play with the proper pitch. Um, I do like the overall beer quality that comes from the French Saison with our blend of nutrients. We use Fermato and Dap on a three day schedule. And uh, I would say probably the French Saison with the proper pitch is gonna be my second favorite. Uh, I would uh, also agree with that. I mean, the Lutra and the proper uh, seltzer nutrient, you can literally just chuck those two things together, come out with stupidly clean, clear, alcoholic water in no time. It's dumb, dumb proof, get after it. You add some flavoring, it's gonna be great. Ours, I still think is on top for what we want, what we want to do. It tastes the best to me. I really love how we came out with this. It, it's really good. Uh, but yeah, the French Saison with the proper nutrient, uh, I'm also going to say is my second favorite. This has the most interesting flavors beyond ours. And might go best in my mind with something like peach or stone fruit on those ones, whereas this can handle a lot of other range of fruit, and this one's just a blank slate. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch us get drunk on an episode that we're going to be filming later on today, follow our second channel, Genus Not Brewing. Subscribe to this channel, comments, do all that stuff below. Follow our Instagram, follow Ryan's Instagram. Um, it's really, really dumb. So... In his TikTok, uh, follow his OnlyFans, his Pornhub, all that stuff, and we'll see you next time. Also, if you have more questions on nutrients, we are going to be doing a full video with White Labs um, talking about the efficacy of nutrients and what they are. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and uh, White Labs Enos.